Hi, I'm Tim Deppenbrock, and I'm a consultant for the Landscape Branch in Frankfort, Kentucky. I'm uh, standing here visiting the Floral Clock, which was um, first built in 1961, and so we're now at its 60th year. The hands were painted gold for the 50th anniversary, and it's, it's been such ever since. The whole idea of the clock originated from uh, Governor Bert Combs, and uh, he was simply looking for a way to bring tourists into Kentucky and into Frankfurt in particular, and, and in cons consultation with his landscape branch manager at the time, uh, who was Ken Dotson, uh, Ken threw out the idea of, of a floral clock. He's seen some around before on his travels, and uh, Governor made no comment about it, but apparently he let it stew a while, and they finally consulted with one another and decided that's what they were going to build to bring tourists into Frankfurt. Hence, we got uh, the floral clock built and dedicated on May the 4th, 1961. It was also co-sponsored by the Garden Clubs of Kentucky. It is built at 34 feet across the clock face. That's the plant bed size. The plant bed weighs about 100 tons. The hands are 20 and a half feet and 15 and a half feet for a long hand, short hand. It's surrounded by a, a pool and actually hovers over a pool of water, which the pool is lined with Kentucky limestone. Plant material on the clock is all grown by our own landscape branch in our in our greenhouses, and it can vary from year to year. It does vary quite substantially from year to year in its design and the particular plants that are placed on the clock. This year we have Altanthera, Euphorbia, Petunias, and Calipricoa. Uh, the design is is often done by committee and uh, a, folk, a number of us folks in the, in the landscape branch get together and, and come up with some thoughts and ideas. Uh, we've done some uh, very simple ideas. Uh, this has just been planted so it doesn't look terribly full right now but it'll quickly fill in. Uh, some of the more fun, whimsical things we've done were uh, images of other things out of the plant material. So we use the Altanathera to to carve and shear and create things like uh, uh, the state symbols. We've had Kentucky Cardinals and, and Goldenrod and Tulip Tree images on the surface of the clock, all carved out of the plant material. Uh, we've done horses and uh, we've done uh, monarch butterflies and caterpillars on the clock uh, as design. Just some fun stuff. We, we take a lot of pleasure in making it look good and coming up with some new ideas. I think the governor was, was uh, spot on with his idea of bringing tourists into Frankfurt uh, because it is the number one tourist attraction, tourist stop in Kentucky. and. Uh, been rather successful. It's been fun to be a part of.